Good afternoon and welcome to Integrity Sales and Services. This afternoon I'm going to do a video for you on our 2003 Volvo day cab. Let's start out by going to the inside of the truck and we're going to fire it up for you. We'll let you check out the gauges and everything and uh, let's start right here on the door panel as we head into the truck folks you can see that this truck looks absolutely new. Absolutely no sign of any rust or deterioration under the door around the subframe of the cab everything looks just spectacular and it shines like a new truck take a look at even the clutch pedal brake pedal and the throttle pedal wear I'm telling you folks it shows a truck wear of about 200,000 miles it just really looks that clean okay let's continue around you can see we have all the safety inspection parts we have the triangles fire extinguisher here's a look at the specs on the truck you can see when I focus in we have an absolute factory 390 gear ratio I'm telling you it's a good truck for around the farm or whatever application you may need it for with that kind of a ratio you can get the job done Take a look across the top of the dash, very nice and clean, no sign of any cracks or breaks. We'll zoom over to the passenger side, take a look, very nice clean dash. The feet area and everything just is really, really nice. We have a power passenger window, very nice clean passenger seat, extremely nice big back window. Look how nice you can see out the back. Even the back panel of the cab, the floor mat area, it's an amazingly clean truck. Let's flip down the driver's visor and let's have you take a look at the shift pattern. We have a full 10-speed Meritor transmission. Coming back to the dash area, you can see we have engine brake, heated mirrors, flash to pass, AM FM tape, air conditioning and heater controls, suspension dump, and full diff lock. I'm telling you folks, she's loaded. It even has a tilt wheel, air brake control for the trailer, and we have the cruise right here on the steering wheel. Okay, with that, I'm going to sit in the driver's seat. We'll focus on the gauges, and we're going to go ahead and fire it up. You can see her light up, you can hear it come to life. I'm telling you, the motor has not been pre-warmed up. It starts like that when it's cold. This truck comes right to life. You can see we got oil pressure gauges working, fuel pressure gauge, everything's working wonderful. You can see here we have, uh, if I rev it up, we got about 85 pounds of oil pressure. You can see that right in the gauge at about 1,100 RPMs charging system everything working great with that I'm gonna hop out of the cab and we'll make our way under the hood let's go ahead and pull the hood latch pop the hood we'll step out of the cab and let's go ahead and get you a nice view on the engine compartment okay now that we have the hood open you can take a look and see how nice and clean it is I'm gonna go over to the passenger side where the dipstick is and we'll pop that out let you have a look at the blow-by of this engine. As you can see, folks, there is absolutely no blow-by. Here I have the dipstick in my hand. I'm telling you, the oil looks so nice. You can't really tell as I come down where the oil stops and starts because you can see through the oil onto the dipstick. Let's return it to its home. With that, I'm going to head back around and we're going to shut the truck off so we can hear better in the video and then we'll continue. Okay, now that we don't have to yell over the noise of the engine, let's start right here on the driver front corner. Take a look, very nice clean steel rims, nice shiny chrome caps and nut covers. You can see we have some nice deep treaded steer tires. Let's pop down, you can take a look and see we have 70% brake pads remaining. Look how nice and clean the oil pan is, folks. And it's not been steam clean. We're not hiding anything. The frame has been repainted simply due to the fact that it was peeling around the bolt, so we did repaint the frame. But we have not washed the engine. You're seeing it in its honest work clothes. And it does have your typical expected oil accumulations in some areas, but there are no open leaks. I'm telling you, folks, very nice, clean truck. Let's continue around and we'll give you a repeat view of that on the passenger side coming up on the steer tire you can see a repeat of the rim nice chrome caps and center cover take a look you can see the tread matches the, the driver's side as well 
take a look and see the brake pad also the same on this side here you can see evidence of recent filters again nice clean engine oil pan front axle beam everything looks really nice so let's focus in on the passenger side of the engine compartment again you can see along the bottom of the engine where you have some old accumulation but I'm telling you there's not a fresh speck of oil drip on the snow we're sitting on very nice looking antifreeze it's very clean the air to air looks good and let's take a look at the fins on the radiator you can see in there there's absolutely no oxidation and the fins are not coming apart whatsoever you can also see evidence of a recent air filter take a look at the uh, underneath the front of the cab you can see there's absolutely no rust joints at all even above the tires where the cab mounts are it is very very clean with that I'm going to come to the front of the truck pop the hood down and latch it shut and then we'll continue with the video okay let's back off and get you a nice square view of the front of the truck you can see here that the bumper lines up really nice and straight with the hood we have the two tow hook options we have two tow hooks for the truck if you need them but they the mounts for the hooks are there from the factory I'll walk up close and let you take a look at those there's one on the right and one on the left as you can see the grill on this truck shines there's none of the chrome missing we have a nice stainless mirror on the right side and nice heated mirrors on both sides of the truck on the doors and a very nice visor on top of the roof let's continue down the passenger side I'm going to stop here a moment let you focus around the headlight you can see there are no cracks and breaks around it very very nice paint take a look at the passenger side of the cab itself you can see again the actual reflection in the paint that's how shiny she is take a look we have a really nice big aluminum fuel tank let's take a focus under the cab here you get a good chance to see what the exhaust system looks like I'm telling you folks it shows no sign of any smoke coming out of any of the flex joints very very good condition with that let's head around the back of the truck you can see the upright exhaust system here is also in nice shape very nice looking back of the cab it actually has an automatic grease system on it which is what you're looking at there in the canister behind the cab it is an air ride cab as well as an air ride suspension and there you can see the airbags let's flip around give you a look at the frame you can see it's nice and clean not all slobbered up with grease here you can see the drive tires they are match tread there are a few on the back axle that are about 95 percent and the majority of them are at that 70 percent tread remaining let's let you focus on the rims in the back you can see they've also been sand, sanded cleaned up and primed and painted with the chrome accessories on them let's move on to the back of the truck totally and you can take a look and see we have matching mud flaps and everything lines up real nice and straight between the body and the frame let's walk up close and we can get you a look at the rear brake pads we'll stick the camera right in here and you can see that these brake pads are not old you can still see the nice clean paint on the side of the shoes as well as on the springs and all that on the fasteners very very recent set of rear brake shoes let's move on around the truck to the driver's side again you can see the repeat of the clean rims chrome accessories and you can see here the latch for the fifth wheel all that stuff is in working order again we have a nice aluminum tank on the driver's side we have the three air tanks battery box compartment below the driver's door with that I'm gonna back off and let you have a nice look at the driver's side of the cab as well and that will bring us back around to the front of the truck okay folks with that I'm gonna wrap up the video I'm gonna tell you thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch it and hopefully we've covered all the bases for you uh, and answered all your questions if we have not for any reason please feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to go right to the truck and answer any detail that you may need to know and again thanks for shopping integrity sales and services and we look forward to doing business with you